Step inside the world's most famous address as we unveil the astonishing hidden truths and the off-the-record secrets of the White House that will leave you speechless. Number 1. The White House has a twin in Ireland. The building is called the Leinster House in Dublin and it's the seat of the Oireachtas, the Irish Parliament. Number 2. There's a basketball court nicknamed the Bush Center after George H.W. Bush who was a fan of the sport. Number 3. The White House was set on fire by the British during the War of 1812. It was later painted white to cover the burn marks, which is how it got its name. Number 4. The White House has a movie theater. Franklin Roosevelt converted a long cloakroom into a movie theater in 1942. Number 5. There's a White House dentist office tucked away in the sub-basement. Number 6. The White House was built by slaves and free workers. Slaves were involved in the construction from cutting the timber for the walls to laying the stones and bricks. Number 7. There is a chocolate shop and a florist located within the complex to cater to the first family and their guests. Number 8. President Lyndon B. Johnson had a recording system installed that captured many conversations in the Oval Office. Number 9. The White House has seen several renovations and additions, including the West Wing, East Wing, and the Oval Office. Number 10. The first movie ever shown in the White House was The Birth of a Nation, a controversial film due to its portrayal of race and the Ku Klux Klan. Number 11. The White House has 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, and 6 levels to accommodate the needs of the President and their guests. Number 12. The White House was not wheelchair accessible until Franklin D. Roosevelt, who had polio, made modifications for his own needs. Number 13. There is a White House bowling alley. It was originally built for Harry Truman in 1947 and moved to its current location under the North Portico in 1955. Number 14. The nuclear codes are always nearby the president, often carried by a military aide in a briefcase known as the football. Number 15. There's a beekeeper on the South Lawn, and the first beehive was established there in 2009. Number 16. The grounds of the White House include a jogging track installed by Bill Clinton. Number 17. The White House has its own calligrapher staff to prepare invitations, certificates, and proclamations. Number 18. An indoor swimming pool was installed under the authority of FDR in 1933, but was covered by Nixon to make room for the press corps. Number 19. The White House kitchens are able to serve dinner to as many as 140 guests and hors d'oeuvres to more than 1,000. Number 20. The Oval Office desk named the Resolute Desk was made from the timbers of the British Arctic exploration ship HMS Resolute. Number 21. The White House was designed by an Irish architect, James Hoban, who won a competition to design it in 1792. Number 22. The White House has been the residence of every U.S. president since John Adams in 1800. Number 23. During the 1948 renovation of the White House, it was considered to tear down the entire building due to structural weaknesses. Number 24. The Rose Garden was established by First Lady Ellen Wilson in 1913. Number 25. The White House grounds are a national park. Called President's Park, it encompasses the White House, a visitor center, Lafayette Square, and the Ellipse. Number 26. There is a situation room which serves as a secure, fortified, and technologically advanced operations center. Number 27. The White House has a dedicated flower shop, and the chief floral designer ensures that the arrangements are perfect. Number 28. The White House had its first website under President Bill Clinton in 1994. Number 29. The White House staff includes a chief calligrapher, who leads a team responsible for the elegant script on official documents. Number 30. A mini hospital is on site complete with medical staff and supplies for any emergency. Number 31. There is a secret White House underground. Beneath the building is a complex web of workspaces, storage rooms, and even a purported underground bunker complex named the Presidential Emergency Operations Center, PEOC. Number 32. The White House has seen ghost stories, including sightings of Abraham Lincoln and Andrew Jackson by staff and visitors. Number 33. There's a White House curator who oversees the conservation of the building's historic furnishings. Number 34. Prohibition didn't stop the flow of alcohol in the White House, with President Warren G. Harding reportedly stashing whiskey. Number 35. Anecdotes claim there's a bowling alley with a single lane given as a birthday gift to President Truman. Number 36. The White House Correspondence Association. Dinner started in 1921 and has become a tradition where the president typically gives a humorous speech. Number 37. There's a tradition of the president pardoning a turkey each Thanksgiving, sparing it from being eaten. Number 38. 
The Truman Balcony was added to the South Portico in 1946 despite criticism for altering the historic facade. Number 39. The West Wing suffered a serious fire in 1929 during Herbert Hoover's presidency. Number 40. There are rumored to be secret tunnels used for the president's secure transport. Number 41. The White House hosts an Easter egg roll on the lawn every year, a tradition since 1878. Number 42. There's a room called the Chocolate Shop where pastries and treats are made. Number 43. The presidential seal in the Oval Office must be covered when the president is not present. Number 44. There's a naval mess aboard the White House run by the Navy and serving as a private dining facility for the president, their family, and guests. Number 45. HMX-1, the Marine Helicopter Squadron, is known as Marine 1 when the president is aboard. Number 46. It has a full-time movie projectionist, available at all times in case someone needs to see a film. Number 47. The White House's facade is made of Aquia Creek sandstone which was painted white to protect it from freezing and cracking. Number 48. There are hand-cranked elevators that are still in the residence, although they have been modernized. Number 49. John Adams, the first president to live there, wrote a prayer that is carved into the state dining room fireplace. I pray heaven to bestow the best of blessings on this house, and all that shall hereafter inhabit it. May none but honest and wise men ever rule under this roof. Number 50. The grounds include a vegetable garden first planted by First Lady Michelle Obama, part of her campaign for healthy eating.